last week you said that uh, you guys plan on redshirting Sam Lamar. Is that subject subject to change as, as the season goes on, or things keep heading in this direction? Well, it, I mean, he's he's got a redshirt year and he's got two years of uh, eligibility, and you know this is this is the thing we're looking at a long haul. You know, it's quite a uh, hard decision to make. You know, is do you uh, do you, you know, give up that year of eligibility now or? Say never, but that's that's. I, I refrain from doing that. Trying to give the, these young guys the opportunity to get themselves better. So for now, there's no thoughts to go to Joe Silver. It's just going to be Carson Grant. Well, I you know that uh, they've got to practice well. I mean, they've got to get back on on track. And you know, I'd like to say I'd never say never. Uh, you don't know what the, you know. We had 100 guys lined up quarterback. So, but uh, my intent. What I would hope for and believe would, would take place would be that these two young guys would get back on their game and get back to where they were and then begin to make some headway. And if that's the case, then you know, they'll, they'll be there. Is there a certain point, do you have a certain point with red shirts where you say that there's a point of no return? I know sometimes people will, coaches will remove a red shirt late in the season. Well, I, I, would, I, I would refrain dearly from, from doing that. That's, that's not fair to a young person. And, and as I've said before, you know, Richard in, in this program has always been uh, the determination of the, of the player. And, and I, wouldn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't just throw somebody on the field without sitting down and talking about the, you know, the situation. So it's, it, that's not a game day type of thing that you, that you do. Your time with uh, coaching against Coach Neumeisel when he was at Colorado and now, your thoughts on, on him, and then are there any similarities to what he does at UCLA to what he did at Colorado? Well, I had to answer the last question first. Yes, I think there there are similarities. There's a, a great deal of uh, uh, of similarity. Uh, certainly, uh, the, their offense has evolved, uh, but yes, you you can see you can relate the two very quite easily. Uh, uh, defensively. Uh, things have changed, uh, you know, a little bit. Uh, so I, I, I don't think the uh, similarity is quite as uh, present defensively as it is uh, as it is offensively. Uh, the kicking game is, uh, you know, it has it has changed uh, some, but I, you know, all of that's to be expected. I, I think Rick is, uh, you know, is obviously an extremely fine football coach, very intelligent, uh, has. Uh, Good command of uh, you know what he does in his program, as he did at, uh, at uh, Colorado. Uh, why is why is doing? It? What was your, what was the impression your team left you with yesterday after meeting with them? Uh, well, I you know they're they're pretty much the same all the time. I mean they they they're good guys about. You know, sitting up in their chairs, getting their eyes on you know whoever's speaking, and they pay close attention. And uh, you know, we didn't have any pep rallies. I didn't. I didn't ask for for that. But uh, I, I just shared my feelings with them. We have two meetings on Mondays, and the first one is relative to the previous game. And you know, and I shared my my vantage point. Uh, then then they watched videotape, and then they came back and met about UCLA, and I have shared my thoughts about UCLA and then they break up and watch videotape uh, after that. So, uh, you know, I, uh, from the meeting standpoint, they were just observant, I think, and, and attentive. And, you know, from the practice standpoint, I think they were trying to, uh, to get over it. And, and I think they, I think for the most part, they probably have. It probably lingers a little bit longer with some than it does with, uh, with others. And, you know, it's so easy to say, get over it. But uh, it's not, uh, I mean, put ourselves in uh, situations where we've had uh, painful things happen to us. And you know, we can say, let's get over it. But you know, the mind is uh, a little different now. Coach, how challenging will this game be with UCLA traveling to the Rose Bowl and taking on the squad? And your team just still trying to maybe develop an identity? Well, a scale of 1 to 10, it's probably about a 44. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, you know, going to the West Coast is, uh, uh, you know, that's a, uh, 
a, a difficult trip. The hardest part of it, I, you know, outside of having to you know, play an awful good football team, the hardest part of it is, is the coming back and, you know, the time change. It doesn't have a dramatic impact on you, I don't think, uh, going, but when you come back, that's that time change is a little significant. Now, the fact that we're, it's going to be 6.30 in the morning when they get back, uh, I don't know about uh, I, I, I trust that these young guys will be able to sleep. I, I've never slept on a plane in my life, so I, I haven't got to figure it out how, you know, I'm, how I'm going to manage this. So uh, I may stay over and fly back.